Okay, today we're embroidering on a pillowcase. Let's get this going. Okay, we took the pillowcase. We're going to be embroidering on the bottom of the pillowcase. As you can see the hem there. The white hem. And we're putting our design on the bottom. And we flipped it 180 so we have it in the right direction. And we're using our mighty hoop to hoop this. We're using a tearaway backing. You can use a fusible tearaway backing also. Or you can use a little spray tack and put the uh, backing onto the uh, pillowcase that way. We have approximately 8,000 stitches. So it's going to take us a while. We'll be stopping here and there and coming back and showing you how we're progressing. Using the 7511 needle. I think we've got about five colors. And it's just a bunch of flowers and then we have a uh, initial. Sort of customizing it for the person with their that's using the pillowcase. So it's a great idea for presents, gifts. Wedding. Okay, we're trying this out without taking the hem off. So we're putting, since it's hemmed at the end, we're seeing how bad it's going to pucker after we do this, and we don't expect it to pucker much. If you want to take the hem off, you can. In this case, we're not doing that. I think it will be just fine. So we've got a bunch of stitches to uh, do, so we're going to continue the process. And we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're finishing up our design. We're getting close to the end here. We had a bunch of stitches and could have made this into uh, two colors for the green, light green and dark green. It would have turned out a little nicer, but in this case uh, we just used left it with the um, same color green on those uh, leaves. Remember the last thing we'll do is personalize it with the little initial, which you can do. You can put his and hers on there, you can put an initial, you can do some cool stuff, so uh, be creative in that. Final thing we'll do is do a little wash test. Remember we have a tear away backing, so we'll just tear it away. And we'll see on the wash how it uh, how it washes and if it doesn't pucker too much and if it does then of course you'd want to use a a backing that's uh, not a tearaway maybe a weblon would work good uh, on it so uh, we're trying it this way uh, we haven't done pillowcases before so um, we're showing you how to do them and we're using an SWF machine so that's it there's your pillowcase uh, let's zoom in a bit so you can see it. Embroidering on pillowcases can be fun. can be a neat item. It's total custom. So uh, try it out and see if you like it. Thanks for watching our videos. Embroidery2u.com and the Embroidery to You channel. Remember to subscribe. We got many more cool videos coming up.
Thanks a lot and have a great day.